Hello and welcome back to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life as I do in Wales. You can see my lovely Welsh dragon behind me. That shows you I'm Welsh. So I'm going to be painting on a 24 by 18 inch canvas today and I've painted it black. Now I've asked, been asked a question, do you need brushes in order to paint? And I said, well, not really. You can paint with your hands if you want to. So that's what I'm going to try and do today is paint with my hands. Those little jazz hands. Yeah. <laughs> no, I... I'd like to try to introduce everybody to painting. It doesn't matter how you paint. I'm not, I'm not pretending to be a master artist or a Van Gogh or a Monet or all these other wonderful artists out there. Um, I just want to, I just enjoy paint. I just enjoy painting and, and, and the, the science of paint and just stress free painting, in fact. So I'm going to look at the canvas today. Um, we're going to be using a couple of different items today. I got some Prussian blue. I got some cerulean blue. I got some Mars black, some medium yellow, some medium red, and some white. Am I going to put other paint uh, colours on there? There's a big possibility I might. I've also got some paper plates. Um, I've got an idea how to use those. I'm actually going to be using one of these little credit card things as well. Uh, this just happens to be a, a lotto card, so that's a plastic card. I got one of these foam foam brushes. Um, that's another thing I'm going to be using, and I've got a selection of rubber gloves. Mm. So I thought, let's see if I can't paint a painting with just my fingers or my hands. Why not have a bit of fun with that? I got some tissue paper which I can use and scrunch it up. I got my hair dryer. So without further ado, let's put these rubber gloves on and let's get some paint on this canvas and just have some fun. Just chill out, relax, and just let the painting paint itself and get that rid of that stress of everyday life away. So I'm just going to put these rubber gloves on. I'm not going to bore you today with any of my products, any of my um, media mix, which I normally put in there, which is available on the website, or my paints that I make myself by hand, which again are on the website www.cly5art.co.uk. I'm not going to go harping on about that. Um, I just thought we'd just get some paint done. So let's get let's get let's get a paper plate. Let's get some white. Let's just get some white on a paper plate. There you go. Let's get some white on a paper plate. And let's just put a little bit of... Why a black canvas? Well, there was a painting I did on you um, a while ago. And I tried... Put, I'm just going to dip my fingers in a little bit of water. There we are. Um, I tried to um, cover it with some grey. And it didn't really cover it. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll, I'll use a bit of... I use a bit of black and see how that how that works. I tell you what I am going to do. I think is it might it might be a good idea is if I just use a, a mister bottle. This is just a fine atomizer bottle. Again, you can get these on the website if you want. And that's just to keep my paint from drying because I've got the central heating on in the studio. And I'll be honest with you, it's quite warm. It really is. A bit of cerulean blue on the fingertips. Get the children involved in this. You can get the children involved in this. Let's just get a bit of blue in there. A little bit of Prussian blue. Just up the top. Mixing that in with the white. Don't worry if there's any black showing through. That's all part and parcel of this wonderful painting. There we are. I'm just brushing that in like this. A little bit more white. A little bit more white. I'm just going to mix that in there like that. Put my fingers in some water. I'm going to get some Prussian blue. Let's get some blue there. Let's get a bit of blue there, like that. Let's get some Prussian blue there. There we are. We want some sort of a, a line going across there. That's drying already. This is really good, actually. It's it's good to to, to feel the paint in your fingers. Feel that paint. Get to get get to know with the paint. Get to know what the paint can do. Does it? It sounds radical, doesn't it? It sounds really radical. Clay must be mad today, but I tell you, getting this close to paint is is a fantastic thing. It's being physical with it, and you can learn so much not just from your paint, but how are you going to clean everything up afterwards? <laughs> but not just from your paint, but you can learn a lot about yourself as well, and then just be. 
just be loose and free and free and loose and let's get a little bit more let's get a bit more Prussian blue up there just dark in the corner touch there we are mix it in way there we go wow I think I'm, I'm enjoying myself today so I'm just gonna wash put my water my fingers into some water but then I'm just gonna get the paint off as best I can reuse latex gloves or night prowling gloves or whatever you've got because I tell you what you can mix it can make a mess it really can let's get some orange made up so I have loads of yellow a little bit of a red in there because what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna put some marks in like this just with my fingertips just with my fingertips like that way right. I put a couple over there like this a couple down there like that just mix them in like this there we are let's get a little bit more red to the one side I want this orange bordering on more of a red there we are just mixing that in like this but I'm gonna go into some more yellow now I don't want to contaminate all my yellow if I can have it I'm just gonna mix my fingers around like this there's plenty more red with that, a yellow where that come from just mixing it in there like that Give that effect it's mixing a little bit with our blue because it's still a bit tacky I'm just gonna wipe my hands very very quickly with some tissue paper like this I'm gonna get another plate and I'm just gonna well in fact I'm gonna just gonna put the, a little bit of yellow onto a paper plate like that a little bit of yellow on a paper plate like that I'm just wet my fingers again I just want some pure yellow just to come in down there like this get a little bit of yellow down there like that I'm gonna get some Prussian blue I'm gonna mix some Prussian blue and some yellow it's gonna make like a, a green color there we are it's a nice green color we want it a bit darker than that we want it a bit darker let's get some more Prussian blue maybe some black maybe some black it's just Mars black has got blue in it so if you add yellow to Mars black it's gonna go green anyway so there we are we got a, we got some color going in there now like this there we go Get a bit of black, get a bit of black down there. Let's get some more black in there like that. Get some yellow. Pulling it down. A bit dark over there. Moving your fingers over a little bit around there, like that. Just get a couple of shapes in. You, you're looking, it's looking quite bright, isn't it? <laughs> Let's get some of this yellow. Let's get a bit of white on my finger. There you go. Tappy tappy tap. Get a bit of that colour down there. We got some yellow down here. Bit of 
orange. Let's get some orange. We've got to be careful we don't make mud. basically cleaning my hands off now I'm gonna chuck that in the bin and I'm gonna just wash my hand very very quickly because you can make mud very very quickly with this because you've got red blue and yellow which is gonna make a brown so be very careful when you're doing this um, because you're gonna make a mud and you don't want to make a mud you want it nice and vibrant and, and colorful and let's get the hairdryer on that now and just give it a really good blast with the hairdryer because we need to build another layer up. Okay, so I put the paint on a bit thick there, so it's going to take a while to, to, to dry. But as long as I'm aware that, that is wet, then I know not to touch it if I could help it. So we, we've got some lovely colours there. We've got this, what could be a, a, a riverbed or a lake or something. You can see this already started to, to develop like that. Um, and, and that's just by using old rubber gloves. Now, what I'm going to try and do is get some kitchen paper. I'm going to make a couple of scrunched up bits of kitchen paper. Uh, again, I'm going to go and use a paper plate. And why not? Because we had plenty of these left over from Christmas. Um, I'm just going to get some yellow. And I'm just going to tap in some yellow now. With this, just to get a little bit of a highlight effect going on. Maybe I'm going to add a little bit of white to it as well. Um, I want to get a, a few different textures going on into this painting. There you go. Let's get a. That's, that's a bit too white. There we are. That's better. Just get a some shapes going on in there like this. Add a bit of colour in there in a second. A bit more yellow. A little bit more white. Mix that together. Let's get a little bit of depth building up like this. What I want to do now is um, look at some dark maybe. Um, let's chuck the nut in the bin. Um, I want to make a bit of green, so I'm going to just add a little bit of this black over to that yellow. Let's get a bit more yellow into there. And this is the thing about making stuff like this. It's, it's, it's a fun process, in fact. There we are. i got a bit of green colour going on. And maybe that look should be a little bit darker. Just pull that down there like that. Let's get a bit of darkness going on in there. Finger time. Let's get some finger painting going on. There we are. Just putting a bit of shadow in. Get some of that light colour. Some oranges, some yellows, some green. And all this wonderful type of stuff going on there. Let's get a little bit of white. Just on this one side. Bit of, bit of sky coming through. I'm just loosely tapping now some bits and pieces. Dip, 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 dip. There we are. We start and develop. Chuck out in the bin, chuck out in the bin. This is a wasteful day today. Plenty of recycling. Not to worry, that's what they say. Not to worry. Um, 
really speaking, I don't know if I can do this, but um, no, I tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to use a brush because I think to to get the effect that I'm looking for, I'm gonna I'm gonna need to use a a brush, and um, I think all I'm gonna do is use a very very thin brush like this. This is a script lining brush, and I'm just going to go into some of this dark yellow or green I made. Let's get a paper plate. I've got to use these paper plates up. There we are. There we are. And let's just put some bits and trees and branches and things in there, like this. Anywhere you think they could live, like that. It's just to give it a little bit of, a little bit of life. You can always see branches and stuff in the woods, can't we? You can always see those branches and things. We need to put them in like that, like this. Don't worry if you've gone a little bit overboard, we can always put a little bit of leaves and things over that. But it's just a matter of just chucking in and just making some lines like this. Don't have to be 100% accurate. There we are. And we could put a few marks just in the water like this. Because that's what this is. This is water. Just a few, like as if is, just a few reflections going down there like that what we could do now is just put that brush in the water let's get um let's get what can we use what can we use i'm just going to use this bit of tissue paper i'm going to use this bit of tissue paper i'm just going to get some yellow on orange i'm going to work on this bank like this i'm just, just putting it down and just moving it like that I want to get a like as if there's flowers and stuff in the front there like this let's get some yellow let's get some let's get some let's get some white into that orange let's make a light light orange Maybe put some bits and pieces like this. I don't know what they are. They could be anything, couldn't they? Let's get a bit more tissue paper. Making up a little ball like this. Let's get some white over there into this green. I'm just going to Make a few marks like that. We want that. We want a bit brighter, don't we? We want that a bit brighter. Where's my paper plate? There we go. I want a bit of light. You gotta be careful. We don't brighten it too much. But we, I, we want to make this stand out a little bit. There, there we are. Can you see? Can you see? I hope you can. I hope you can see what I'm trying to attempt. And we don't know what this is going to look like. We have got no idea how this is going to turn out. You know, it, it might work, it might not work. But that's the joy of painting. That's that's the fun. That's the fun part of doing something like this is that you you were letting yourself go and you were releasing those, that all our pent up energy that we got that we built up over Christmas. We have all those mince pies that we've eaten and have started our blood pressure up and we've had a few issues with the family that we weren't expecting and, and we were thinking, oh my God, how are we going to go, go into the next year, new year now and, and deal with all this stuff? But we do, because we human beings, that's exactly what we do. Of course we do. Let's just get some lines in there. You can see that 
the black is working for us. It's looking like water already. Where's our card? Where did I put my card? There we go. So let's get some black paint. Let's get a little bit of black paint on there. Let's get some black paint. Let's dip this. Let's, let's just dip it in there like that. Let's, let's just do that. Let's just do that. Let's just do that and I make some sort of a, a line across like this. And there we are. And why not? Make a bit of a river bank. There's a bit of a river bank there like that. Well, all we got to do then is just clean that black paint off. And let's get some white paint. Let's dip this in white paint. Let's dip it into white paint. Let's just have fun. Just relax. This is not about being an artist. This is not... This, <laughs> I keep saying this is about relaxation. It's about having fun. You can be as... You can be as stressed as you want to be in your own... In your own paintings. <laughs> But what I'm trying to do here is just relax you, enjoy your, enjoy the process. The more you the more you let go, and the more you relax, the easier painting is going to become, because you're not going to be worrying about what things look like and how things work. And you're thinking, well, why why am I panicking? Clive said not to worry. Clive doesn't worry. I never worry about stuff like this, and it's, that's what it's all about. Never worry about it life's too short life's too short especially when you when you're working with paints like this and it's it's, it's way too it's way too many things to go wrong of course it is and just let it happen just let it happen there you go let's let it happen there's a little bit too dark there but we can work that out there we are there's never a mistake there's never a mistake. Old Bob Ross used to say, there's nothing but happy accidents. And that's just another way of saying, it doesn't matter. Why worry? Why worry? Why worry? So I'm just going to make a little bit more of thin paint with this brush. And I'm just going to put a few more lighter colour twigs and branches and stuff in like that. There we go. Don't like it? Wipe it away. Mix it in. There we go. Oh, what a fun day this is going to be. What a fun day. I'm going to dry that again with a hairdryer. Okay, so I'm having fun today. We've got a foam brush. You can pick these up. They're really, really, really dirt cheap. And let's just get some... Let's get another paper plate. Let's get another paper plate. <laughs> Right, so a bit of white paint, a um, bit of white paint. Let's get a little bit of black paint to it. There we are. Just a bit of white and a bit of black. Make it more white than black. There we are. A bit, bit more grey then. And let's just put a tree in there like that. Let's draw it down like that. You could do this with your finger if you wanted to. I don't see why you should. Because this is why we've got foam brushes and things like that. And there are a couple of lines like this. I don't like that one. There we are. Make sure you've got enough paint on your brush. Don't make them all straight. That's the worst thing you can do is make a straight tree. Because the wind blows high and the wind blows low, especially in Scotland. And... There you go. Make that one a bit bigger. That's a daddy tree. There you go. Put this one on a bit of an angle like that. But also, we need to put a couple of lines in the water there like that. Just 
to represent the shadows, not shadows, are they the reflections, Clive? The reflections, so we need to put a tree there as well. Let's put another tree in there. Let's just cross them. Let's cross them, why not? We fell in love with each other many years ago, those trees. And they decided to entwine themselves as they grew up. <laughs> Now we're starting to look like something, I think. Let's put a tree in there. Another big tree. Ooh, that is a big tree. Let's put a little one sticking off the side of him. There's a little there's a little bit just decided to grow up on his own. Yes. He did. Big tree that one. Smaller tree just in the background there like that. And we need a Put that in the water, like that. Let's put another tree. There. Is that enough trees? Could be. I didn't um, dry this off with a hairdryer after, by, like, by the way. <laughs> I just, I was just getting so excited, I thought, oh, let's just go for it. There we are, I'll do. Get some black, some black. Just on the same foam brush. Only use one conventional brush today, which is fun, isn't it? Right on the tip of the brush. And all you gotta do then is just put a few little marks like that. Make your little birch trees. There's a few. The marks and the reflections there, like that. a bit most painting we've done so far <laughs> with, a, with a foam brush <laughs> uh, it's just going to show you're going to have so much fun and why not painting away the stress of everyday life in with myself in Wales which is which is a cool thing there we are there's a lot of black on that one because we need to just catch the eye a little bit and um, happiness is having a paintbrush in your hand and paint on your palette. And if you haven't got a paintbrush, then just use a. We haven't put a, we haven't put a shadow down there a lot. If you haven't got a paintbrush, then just use your fingers, as I said. There we go. I'll do. That's looking pretty good. I think that's looking quite nice. I think that's looking quite nice. What we need to do now is um, just chuck that paint palette away. Um, I'm just going to get a little bit more um, orange and yellow. I'm just going to put a few bits of foliage just there and maybe a little bit more just in the front here like this. There we are. A bit more orange. Orange and blue goes well. We've ex we've explained that on another video about compliments, which um, hopefully you've seen. If you haven't already seen it, then look in the i cards, and um, it's where I explain about compliments and things, and that's important. If you want things to pop, then we use a little bit of white just to change its value, um, and that's that's the that's the key. That's the key. 
sometimes is just to get a little bit of brightness into the painting. There you go. Just a little bit of white, just to sparkle things up, just a touch, just to bring things into the foreground. We've got our trees now. We don't want to do this too much. There we go. And I think that's looking quite nice. Um, what I am going to do now is I am definitely going to dry this off because we need to put a little bit of blue in this water. And I'll show you a trick how to do that. I hope, I hope, I only can hope that that is dry enough. So I got another paper plate. Um, there we are, some paper plates left over from Christmas. Um, I'm actually going to use a little bit of uh, flower medium now. This is my um, fluid painting medium, which is available on the website www.clive5art.co.uk. Um, you can use any glazing medium, in fact, but I'm going to use a little bit of this. And it's just, it's just pure acrylic without any colour in it. That's all it is. It's just pure, pure acrylic. That is a gloss acrylic. I got it in, available in matte as well. But I am going to use a brush. It is important that I use a brush for this. I'm just going to moisten my brush down. I'm taking the moisture off my brush. I'm getting some Prussian blue. And I, I'm going to add some Prussian blue to this medium, as you can see. It's quite a thin medium. Now, you can add a little bit of water to it if you want to. Um, if it's not thin enough. There you go. And all you want to do is glaze very, very lightly, very, very lightly, just over this complete base like this. You need a little bit more. If you need a little bit more blue, we can darken it up a touch. Just put a little bit of blue in there like that. Bit of Prussian blue. If it's not dark enough, don't go over that green area. Just where the black is. There, where the black is like that. Just where the black is like that. Just to give that little bit of blue colour coming through onto that water. You can go a little bit over the, the trees if you want. Because that'll, that'll make it look nice. That'll make it look quite blue and water-like. There we go. And just add a little bit of add a little bit of colour into that base. I, you might see it a little bit shiny on my camera but it is quite a nice painting easily done a very very easy very very easy straightforward painting doesn't ha you don't have to worry about uh, making mistakes with this in fact if you do make some mistakes it's going to add to the effect that we've got there like that so there is one easy simple painting if you like what you've seen today Please subscribe. There's a subscription button down below. And give me a like and a thumbs up. And join over 100,000 YouTube subscribers on my channel. Who tune in every Monday at 7.30 Greenwich Mean Time. To have a bit of fun in the studio. It's not just about painting. It's about relaxation. And painting away that stress of everyday life here in Wales with myself. Have fun and I'll see you next time.